And look at that. I've got like a stack and a half of spruce locks now. And two saplings. And a stick. And a hard boiled egg. Hello. Um, watch this post on Twitch. Okay. Hello, everybody. This is Theron. Um, let me say welcome to Minecraft Maker. Uh, I am. This is not a Minecraft Maker episode. I am simply. Nice. Uh, I am simply uh, testing out some streaming. So I could do four, but I can't. Uh, interesting. So, anyway, um, I'm streaming on Twitch. There's nobody watching. That's okay. Uh, and I am just uh, playing a little bit of Minecraft. It's getting recorded so I can. Uh, and this is just a little offline world that I created when I had internet issues and I wanted to play. Oh, one, two, three, four. And I found some iron. Uh, this is a starter world in the latest version, 1.16.5. Come on. Yeah. And I am just playing. But, torch over there. So I don't need that. So my torches are precious. So I got this little mining tunnel. Uh, I don't know what time it is because I haven't gathered enough material to make a uh, block yet. But part of I'm like, um, so got a few torches left. I just picked up some stuff that allowed me to uh, make something else. I have a few torches. I do have some coal, but I don't have any wood. Oh, I have some wood here. Okay, I can make some more torches. So, um, so I'm just doing some uh, strip mining. And let's see how it goes. Mostly I just wanted to test this method of streaming. Uh, see how it works. I'm recording it and it supposedly is going out to Twitch right now. So I need to do that. Um, no, I don't need to do that. Whoa. That was weird. Um, this is a new machine. Uh, <clears throat> my old machine kind of exploded. The, the seam on the left hand side just kind of popped open. And I was very concerned that it was the battery expanding, which can be very dangerous with the batteries that they put in these things. So um, that seemed like a bad idea to continue using it. So uh, it was expensive, but I bought a new. Pro. And honestly, the keyboard on the old one was a problem. And so it was just kind of. I heard a bat. That means I'm near a cave. Yeah, it sounds like it's coming from over this direction. So let's see if we can find the cave. Of course, it could be just above me. Sounds are difficult to locate vertically in Minecraft. But a cave would be nice. So I'm starting to run out of uh, inventory space. But, some redstone. And this pick is on the verge of death.
Now I've got plenty of red sun. And I have some diamonds too, which is cool. Um, what's over here? That sounded like a skeleton. I do not have a boat. I have not found enough stuff to make string yet. I, I haven't found any string. So I have to be a little careful. That could be that could be a skeleton right above me. It's hard to tell. I don't have a CPU monitor up. I can't tell if this uh, little frame rate stuff is just my computer uh, catching up with streaming and playing. I don't know, we'll see. Yeah, so iron over here. It's good because my iron pick, as I noted, is about to break. I don't have a backup. So. But I have some diamonds, so I can make a diamond pick. Which is probably what I'll do. In theory, I should be able to find more diamonds. Spooky sound. Oh, wait. There's more iron. So I could, so in theory, uh, in theory, when the iron pick breaks, I could, I have enough stuff here I can build. I, uh, <clears throat> I can build a, another, I can build a furnace. Let's see. I'm sorry about the noise. You're probably hearing fan noise. Um, the fans go crazy on this machine for some reason, and I think there's a fix that I can do, and I need to do that. Do that. Oh, there goes the pick. Okay, so I know there's a skeleton around here somewhere. Let's uh let's head back to my little mini base. I built it in a built it in a cave up here. Oh that's right, there was water little, some lava going on there. Or water over here. I had to dig through a little tiny cave. Not super tiny, but it's a cave, and uh, I got, that's where I found the diamonds, actually. So, and of course, I am nowhere near, all right, oh, there's lava right there. Uh, I am nowhere near, you know, enchanting or anything. I super started, super, super early on, and um, and up here, it's open to the world, so I have to be careful. But it looks like it's daytime. And I have the house up there that I kind of crashed in. It's a village. And let's see, furnace. Oh. Um, I didn't. I dug all that mostly to find coal, and I didn't get all that much coal. It was kind of weird. So I'm going to stick this gold in here because I don't really need it. I don't need this lapis at the moment. We had all the swivel here. Uh, should probably use some of this stone that I dug up and fill in this hole in the floor in the case something bad happens and I need to get away in a hurry. I don't want to be caught in a hole in the ground. Plenty of copper. Let me show you where I'm at here. There's an iron golem in a hole here. 
with several oh. villagers. He's keeping them safe. Oh, I got, well, oh I've got a, tri a trader. Hey, dude. Um, there's a trader up there. On top of a house, which is not super helpful, but what can I trade him? Huh? Oh. Hello. Packed ice, spruce sapling, lily of the valley. I need emeralds for all of this. Okay. Interesting. Thank you. Oh, it's getting dark. I've got a bed down in my hole. I don't know where my hole is. Here it is. Which isn't entirely lit up, but I have a bed right here, so it's really good. As you can see, I've got iron boots and I've got an iron helmet. Uh, flying out. Yay. Uh, okay, so let's see here. I want to I wanna make some more. I want to get rid of some of this cobble because I don't need that many blocks on my bar. Cook up this iron. So let's cook up. Let's cook up some of these. To make some charcoal. That'll be good. And then I can run the furnace off of that. I should make another chest. And two chest one. And right there. So now I have double iron. Very good, because I'm going to be just have tons of stuff in no time. The diamonds way, so I don't use them. Okay, so now I can make some more with the charcoal and the coal. I can make, I can make some more, um, I can make some more torches. So, let's see here. Go up, up. Well, okay. Got these, got these, and this, that, and that, and that. And some torches. Just have some sticks left over. And at some point I should secure this, but not quite there yet. <clears throat> um, and I can chop around more trees. One of the things I did was, uh, oh, hi. Uh, I planted some giant spruce trees up on the hill here. I don't know if they've had a chance to grow yet. It does not look like it. Okay. Meow. Okay, kitties. Um, okay, so how did I, oh. Interesting. Okay, so I need I need a way up there. And I should like that. Hi, piggies. Ah, this isn't uh. That's not where I planted them. Oh, look, giant spruce tree. I have to, that's where I planted them. Where the giant spruce tree is. Yeah, there we go. I planted a couple. Um, let's see here. Put that down there. And. Um, I don't remember where I planted the other one. I'm sure, I'll see it. See the pods all there? That's that's what happens now when you plant these things. It's dark on my monitor. I hope it's not this dark for you. Okay. 
torches don't really help. Okay. I was lucky that I came across these spruce trees. Because it's very easy to get a lot of wood with these giant spruce trees. Far off am I from the top? Well, let's see here. Let's see, I've got 57 spruce logs. Okay, I'm almost at the top. Okay, so one of the one of the four is always a little bit taller than the others, and it appears to be that one right there. So it and that and chop my way down here. Was I on the wrong one? I may have been. That's okay. So now, hopefully, this guy drops enough uh, saplings that I can replant. And I should put down some light. Not with torches. Not right next to the tree, at least. That can cause some problems. It needs air blocks. Um, so, we'll let those leaves despawn. And look at that. I've got like a stack and a half of spruce logs now. And two saplings. And a stick. And a hard boiled egg. Okay. That's not a giant. Wait, is this. No, I swear I planted two giant spruce trees. But I just don't know where the other one is. I should at least see the saplings. I don't. That's fine. Uh, as long as this guy gives me enough saplings to replant. Which I've got three here. Oh, there's another one right there. Okay. We're good. So I can plant these. Oh, I've got nine. I've got enough to plant two more of them. Because the spruce trees can be a little stingy with their uh, tablets. Plant that one there. And we'll plant another one up over here. Is this a good spot? This is a good spot. All right. And I should probably build a my chest to put it up here with the uh, the saplings, so that I always have them handy. But this should work pretty well. Good. Let's head back down. Remember, if I made an easy way for me to get down, I'll just use this. Good. Okay. So. Um, so now, let's see how the smelting is going. Okay, done. So I can do lots of stuff here. I can make, uh, I want to smelt that iron. All right. And then I can make, uh, I want sticks. I've got sticks in here. And... Let's make a diamond pick. Maybe a bit excessive right now, but hey, um, we can. Where's my sticks? Sticks, so I can go and put them up and stick these here. Up. And I have a diamond pickaxe. 
Huh. You would think you'd get an achievement for that. Okay. Or advancement, whatever they call it now. Okay, so I've got iron here. Got plenty of iron. Can I make um Let's see, iron and redstone, right? That's how we make clock. Clock would be a useful thing. Clock. Oh, I don't have, oh, gold. But guess what? I happen to have gold. So we can make a clock, right? Where'd that go? Clock. Now I know what time it is. And I can tell that it's about to get dark again. Happens up that way. Okay, so there. Um, there is a, uh, there's a brewing stand in the village. Uh, I know where it is. I don't have, I don't have any metal ward, of course, so it's kind of useless, but we can go to sleep. And <clears throat> one cook, 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 cook. go. All right. So now I've got iron, so I can make um, I can make an iron that. Okay. Get myself suited up a little bit better, uh, and then and now I can make some iron pants. Okay, so now I'm full iron. This iron sword. I'm gonna make an iron. I'm gonna make a diamond sword. Seems like a good move. Early on, it's not enchanted or anything, but you know, at least it's a, at least it's a diamond sword. And then uh, let's let's make up some more torches because I need those. And I go find some more coal because I need a lot more coal. Um, Carry some of these with me, just in case. Definitely with these. Food. Okay, let's head back down. Oh, that's right. I dug too low when I started doing it. I wasn't paying attention to my, uh, where my depth was. So let's get back to where I was and see if I can find that skeleton. And maybe if I can find the skeleton, I can get a boat. That would be handy. All right. Here we are. Oh, so much faster. And diamonds. More diamonds would be nice too. There's more iron. Okay. Careful of lava. Not that I hear it. And I don't hear that skeleton anymore either, so that suggests it probably wasn't like a spawner. It was just a random spawn in a cave that was probably above me. Oh, 
Oh, some more redstone. Not that I really need more redstone. I have plenty of redstone right now, but nothing else. The redstone is worth some XP. And, oops. Ha. <laughs> oh, backfill with iron ore. Okay, so this is here. So anyone's not clear. The strip mining technique I use is to dig four in a straight line, put a torch on the floor, and then I do a little poke hole out to the side. Um, if I have, you know, unbreaking on my on my pick, I will I will dig out two uh, high enough that I can walk into, but. I don't have unlimited durability, and uh, and if I only dig a single high poke hole, there's like zero chance that monsters will spawn in it. I think too high four out to the side, they won't spawn either. The, the light isn't; it doesn't get the the torch. <clears throat> the torch on the ground there will provide enough light, uh, but even if I actually go five, so. Uh, it's fine. If I have basically unlimited torches, I put torches out on the, the wall there as well, just in case like water flows and knocks out the torch of the thing here. Uh, that way I guaranteed. I'm guaranteed enough light. But I'm short on resources at the moment, so some corners. Right. I suppose I should eat. So this, this method of oops, digging a shaft and then digging poke holes just exposes most of the blocks in, in the area. There's a little one wide strip right here that is not getting exposed, but most of the veins of ore, particularly diamond, tend to be two or two blocks wide tall. So uh, chances of it being just right in that little strip in between where I'm not seeing, pretty slim. So this is like a minimal effort way of getting exposure to as many blocks and I'm at diamond level. Um, so I don't have to worry about missing Uh, I don't have to worry about missing little veins of diamond. That's the goal. Then we get tired of this. Uh, this. Uh, <clears throat> Ooh, spooky noise. Um, which suggests I'm near a cave. When I get tired of this strip, of this little shaft, I go back to where I started. I dig. Over just enough that my four pokeholes don't meet, uh, and then I take another one. So okay, so this is what I'm talking about here. So if I turn on my F3 screen, uh, lighting. So here, of course, the light here is uh, the block I'm standing on. Uh, my light is. It should be 15. Where? Oh, where'd they move the light? Client light, 14. Yeah. Uh, and then if I go over here, still 10, which is too high for things to spawn. So, 
sure I didn't miss any iron in the ceiling. Because iron is still pretty precious at this point. Iron is precious in general because it is. Oh, I found coal. Uh, okay. Ah, it looks like a pretty good size of it. So, good. I'm getting experience, but of course I'm nowhere near a canting table, I don't think yet. Do you have a spare diamond? Um, I don't know that I've seen any any uh, reeds, so I don't know if I can make a book. Um, I have not seen any cows, so leather for the cow, the leather for the book covers would be a challenge. Okay, so I am backfilling all this because Hey, I don't need all of this, all these blocks in my inventory. Um, and this way, I don't have to do any additional lighting. So I got 23 coal out of that. Okay. So once I get, uh, once I'm able to get enchanting and then I can get fortune, uh, obviously then I can, oops. Then I'll get a lot more coal when I come across it. But for the time being, this will have to do. In theory, should be able to find more diamonds. That's kind of the goal. Okay, well, I think that's what we're going to do for today. Uh, I have I have to uh, go to a doctor's appointment. So, what time is it? Oh, it's dark. It's nighttime anyway. So, uh, <clears throat> so anyway, um, if somebody were there watching, thank you for watching. My name's Theron, and uh, this is Minecraft Land Party. Or it's not. This is. This is a separate thing. But anyway, thank you. And I will do this again soon because I'm playing and I may as well be streaming. So, and it's, I'm learning, learning the, the tools and figuring out how all this stuff works. So, thank you very much. And I will see you next time. Bye.